Okay, everybody, so I don't know if any of you have heard the news already or have not or whatever, uh, but this just came to my attention over Twitter that Mojang and Microsoft have coming out with a new plan to create a way for content creators to actually start to profit and share their content in a much better way. I'm pretty sure the main focus of this, of course, is actually for content creators to share their content and get it out there and get it downloaded. But from what it's looking like is we're going to be able to sell our, our content on the uh, Windows 10 platform, uh, Xbox, and Pocket Edition. Although they haven't exactly noted the Xbox, but the Xbox does behave very closely to those other two, so it's coming eventually. Um, right at the moment, they uh, have set this up. Uh, they're planning to test it here the 20th and get it moving. Um, but in order to utilize the system as a developer content, you actually still have to be a business. You have to actually get through a approval process, and they've got to actually approve all your stuff and get it going. Uh, right now, that means I can't do it because I'm not actually a legal uh, entity or business entity. Um, that may change here pretty soon if this actually does turn out to be uh, a, a real thing and not a hoax. I'll be probably supporting it pretty strong. Uh, the plan is um, to make weapon packs, AI packs, a few other things for this system. I'm not going to be porting my mods over to this yet. Uh, one, their system doesn't even support the, the, that type of content. Right now, their ideal is to pretty much do buildings, maps, texture packs, uh, small tweaks. Um, so let's go ahead and explore through this and see what we've got here. So there's a very a variety of different things that are going to be going on. And, and look, looks like the main idea is that you're going to get some currency. You're going to be able to buy uh, different packs, keep track of your purchases, stuff like that. So you'll be able to go to the store and you'll be able to download things and be able to get things like that. Um, so what this means for the community, at least in my impression, it's going to be a good thing. I'm, I'm hoping at least this doesn't turn into what happened with Skyrim. Uh, for those who are not familiar, a while back, Steam and Skyrim worked together to start to try to implement a system just like this to, in order to help the community out. The goal was to revive older games by making it possible for modders to sell their content. But the community lashed back so strong against it that Steam pulled the support and got rid of the idol behind it because they were afraid the community would would continue to boycott and protest it. I'm hoping that doesn't happen with this because it, it really is a good thing. People may go, oh my god, mods should be made for free, they should be made for fun, they should be made for the community, I shouldn't have to pay for these high quality, almost double A quality mods. And the problem with that is that a lot of us developers spend huge amounts of time on here and we don't make money. Uh, we Most of us do it for, of course, the fun of it. We do it for the love of making mods. Uh, I personally make mods because I do enjoy the process. I don't really make them exactly for you guys. I do release them for free, and I do consider your guys' input when I do work on the mods, but the main goal is I just make them for the fun of it. But at the same time, I do consider profit when I do things. This is the reason why I do spend an excessive amount of time actually freelancing rather than modding, is I struggle to pay bills. Right now, I'm lucky I am living with uh, my mom still, so I don't have to pay bills, but I'm 24, and I don't have a solid job. I don't have an income. I'm $30,000 in student debt, and I am absolutely struggling to pay for just basic things like food, gas, insurance, health insurance, stuff like that. So trying to get any kind of money from my work will help. This is the reason why I'm actually considering becoming an indie game developer and if I can't make my modding work eventually I'm just gonna have to go with that because of the fact that if I can't make money it's hard to exist in this world. Eventually my mom will get fed up with me It will actually force me to go do other things which means I will have to get a proper job uh, which right now is becoming really difficult. I put in like four or five applications a week. I get several offers, fail multiple interviews, and can't get anywhere because I'm overqualified for most jobs and underqualified for the jobs I actually do want. Uh, if, if the weirdest thing I've ever been told is going to McDonald's and being told you're overqualified because you have an applied physics degree. That's literally what my degree is. I have an associate degree in science and applied physics. I'm currently working on a bachelor's in computer science, and with that, I'm underqualified to get actual programming jobs because I don't have experience in a ton of other things. So that's the reason why I actually try to make money via freelancing. I do fun projects for other people, try to help servers out, help performance increases. I make mods on the side here. Uh, I produce these mods, I put them up on Curse. Curse does give me a bit of money. Right now I'm making about a dollar a day. That means I make about $30 a month off of Curse. Patreon, I'm doing 60. Adfly, I'm doing 100. 
So I get a bit of money, but it's not enough to cover the bills because uh, the average cost of living, or at least the, the amount of money that a person should be making to just to do bare minimum is uh, $1,400 before taxes. That means right now I am making about 400, so I'm a thousand under what it considers the poverty line, because the poverty line's at that 1,400, by the way. That's where you're considered poor. Um, and various other things. But getting getting back to this, it's it's this is going to be a really good thing. We can make mods, and, or rather, what they're going to call them is add-ons. I don't know the full extent to what we can do with add-ons. I don't know how far we can take them, what we can do with them. But I want to be able to eventually do stuff like I'm doing. So the armory mod is created on the same ideal that Mojang is moving forward with their stuff. Mojang is trying to move a lot of their stuff to JSON. They're doing their models via JSON. They're starting to do AIs via JSON. They are doing their add-ons with JSON, their tweaks with JSON, and I'm making these guns. And I hope to one day be able to just do this straight through Minecraft and be able to give you guys high quality pristine like weapon packs, be able to give you high quality pristine tools, machinery, uh, monsters. Uh, I'd like to be able to build dungeons for you guys. One of the biggest um, mods I actually want to be able to build here, and I've been slowly planning it out, I've tried to hit it up a couple times, is I want to make a highly customizable dungeon building system where you could build a dungeon, have it procedurally generate, have these generate throughout the world, and be able to explore them and do things. Uh, part of doing that is be able to get you weapons, get you loot, get you monsters, get you spawn points, get you all that stuff, and I want to do all that via JSON. That way, all you do is download an add-on and you can go do that stuff. Um, <clears throat> one of the things I was planning on doing before this was ever announced, because I actually got, I actually talked to a few of the Mojang developers and, and figured this out, I am allowed to sell skin packs. That is something I've been allowed to do from the very beginning. So the Armory mod, one of the things that's going to end up happening is this is going to be a free mod. All of the actual content is going to be free because Mo Mojang says we can't sell content uh, for the normal Minecraft client. So the normal Minecraft client, you can't sell anything pretty much right now. But you can sell decorative stuff. So if you want to have a skin pack, you can sell it. You want to have uh, a decorative armor system, you can sell it. As long as it's not um, exclusive, as long as I don't prevent people from getting access to it, as long as I don't do various other things, we're good to go. I'm allowed to do it. So that's where there's going to be a site eventually here, uh, probably part of the main Build Broken site, where you can go in and pay like a dollar and you can create a custom skin for your weapon and it will synch synchronize across all the Minecraft clients. And say you had this rifle, for example, and you wanted to color it blue. You could go and make a new texture for it and color it blue. Uh, if you had the RPG, for example, and you wanted to paint it pink, you could paint it pink. I, I really won't care. Now, there will be free decorative stuff you could do with your weapons. I'm not going to prevent people from making their own textures and putting them on servers. So you could do a server-side texture pack for your, your thing. You could do mod pack texture packs. The only thing I'll be doing with uh, my website would be to make a place where people can synchronize skins across all clients. So it'll mainly what you'll be paying that dollar for is for storage space. That's what you're paying for. Um, there also may be a membership fee to get access to the premium version of the texture editors. So there'll be like an, a website-based texture editor. There'll be, uh, with that same editor, you'll be able to make your own weapons. You'll be able to make your own everything. I, I'll, I'll let you guys do whatever you guys want with it. Um, the ideal is we're going to use it to generate just a small amount of income to help support the organization so we can build more mods, we can start hiring people. I want to be able to hire a text artist. Right now, I'm uh, heavily reliant on my text artist, Morton, and that guy only shows up maybe once a week to do stuff. And if I'm lucky, he does that. There's been times he's been missing for multiple months, and I've been able, unable to make any content because I need... I need textures and stuff, and I can barely do textures myself. Um, so if we make money, I can go out and pay somebody a couple hundred dollars to make textures for a mod. I can go out and pay somebody a couple hundred dollars to make music, to make audio. I can go pay somebody to make us model loaders. I can go tools and stuff. I can go actually pay uh, my web developer to work on our site, because right now he, he won't work on the site much because he doesn't have free time. But if I paid him, and then he's working on the on the clock. And right now, if you guys have seen my site, it, it looks like it looks horrible. So this is the uh, current site, and I would like to get this site looking as good as the Mojang site, like really nicely animated icons, really big things, store everything else. I want to do that with this site. This site is literally I copied a template from a college class I was taking, uh, edited it, modified it around just so I could get basic things here. And of course, I'm going to remove the game thing from here because it's not part of the organization. But we got our mods here. We got some ads in the page. Um, we got a list of all of our mods. You click some of the pages like you go to ICBM. 
you can see around here, but there's not a lot going on here. There's not a lot to, to do here, and we still need to get this to work better. And unfortunately, that costs money. It's not free. If we want to make it free, we have to work on it, and most of us don't have time. Uh, you look at Dmod. Dmod's pushing like 60 hours a week on his job. Then he comes in and still does another 10 to 20 hours for the organization. <clears throat> that man is the real MVP behind all this stuff. Me, I do somewhere between 20 to 50 hours a week. Usually most weeks it's only 20. Uh, the last couple weeks it ac actually has been closer to 50. I've been spending a huge amount of time getting stuff updated for you guys. And because of my time commitment, I haven't been able to get newer versions of my mods out. I've been stuck in 1.7 because I just don't have the time. I would like to be able to get you guys versions for 1.8, 1.9, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12. 1.12. I'd like to be able to make add-ons for you guys for the Pocket Edition, make add-ons for the Windows 10 Edition, make stuff for Xbox if I can pull that off. Uh, I'd like to be able to give you guys tools. I mean, we want to make cell phone um, applications to support our mods. One of the things we want to do is make a, where you can pull up and launch ICBM missiles from your cell phone. So you would be able to plug into a server, pull up your phone, click and press and then you'd get a list of silos and you'd be able to fire off from your phone and you wouldn't have to log into minecraft to defend your base uh you could get alerts on your phone when your base is being intruded when people are walking around your base those are things we want to do and the thing with that is that those do cost money those actually are not free uh i believe there is maintenance costs there is fees there are stuff um hell i'm looking at uh having to pay a whole bunch of money to the government here pretty soon on my taxes just because i am a, i am considered a a business per se without actually being a legal business but uh, this is enough for now because I want to get back to actually doing development for you guys and I just wanted to voice my opinion on what's going on and kind of give you the reason why I'm excited about all of this happening um, but yeah